is Eric from Traders Helping Traders with this week's Tricks of the Trade. You know, oftentimes as position traders, we have a hard time getting a feel for what's going on underneath the market. And that's because each of these bars represents an entire day's activity. Now we can surmise that, say on a day like today, the market opened near the low, rallied to the high and then fell off slightly. But a lot of times we can't say for sure what happens. And we can't really get a good idea of what the market momentum might be either. In the case of the September Australian dollar, we can see that the market has recovered from a downtrend and it's made a rather large pullback move. This blue line here represents the weekly resistance. So we're trading right near there and then we have our 20 period moving average and our longer term moving average as well. So right now it looks like the market is perhaps in a change of trend. But how can we tell whether it's feasible to look at buying the market above this area of resistance. You can see that last week the market formed over the last three days resistance around this 830 to 840 region. But how can we tell whether it would be safe to buy above there? For that information I usually go to an intraday chart. Now unfortunately Gecko Charts does not have intraday information at this point in time. If you are a Gecko Chart user you can make that suggestion. I've made it several times, but it certainly wouldn't hurt if you made it as well. If they thought a few more people would like the intraday data, end of day, then uh, maybe they'll put that feature in. But right now, the feature I use is from Bar Chart. And barchart.com is a free service, a free charting software. I would advise you to use uh, some sort of pop-up blocker as there can be a few pop-ups uh, occurring on this site. So here we have the September Australian dollar, same chart uh, in a slightly smaller version, but as you scroll down you can see you have the option to make a custom chart, which is what we will do. And usually what I like to do is I'd like to take a look at a 60 minute chart. You can turn off the lines, you can turn off the events and the volume, we won't need that. And rather than see a bar chart, I'll sometimes go with a, a close only plot. This is a line chart. And the reason I do that is it kind of gives you a better feel for what's going on in the marketplace. I'll also put my moving averages on. and draw the chart. And in a second here you'll see we'll have this will be the 60 minute chart, 60 minute intraday chart. So this is what was happening hourly in the Australian, uh, Australian dollar. And you can clearly see here that the market is having a very strong upward bias. Our moving average lines have crossed over uh, the market seems to be respecting them, so for all intents and purposes, it looks like from the hourly perspective, the market is giving us a buy signal. So this is one way that you can kind of get your finger on the pulse of what's happening behind the scenes. Give it a try. I think it'll help improve your trading. And that's this week's Tricks of the Trade.